Hi guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here really to get started with our Flights of Fancy kit. So if we just have a look through and I will show you how I'm going to um, compile my journal. Now obviously in the kit, I did explain the only things that the kit does not come with are the blank, blank journal pages and whatever you're going to use as your cover. Um, and obviously whatever you're going to bind your journal with. So obviously if you're going to make a ring bound journal or something, you're going to need some sort of stiff, or, well, they don't have to be stiff, but you know, something for your cover. I'm going to make a soft journal. So I have got this envelope. Now this is slightly bigger than an A4 page. So if I show you, this is an A4 page, um, which I've had quite a few people question lately, what size is A4? A4 here in the UK is 11.69 long by 8.25 wide. I don't know whether that is an international thing. Um, yeah, I wasn't aware that, you know, copy paper and papers came in different sizes. So I just always refer to it as A4. But that, as you can see, is let's refer to the standard copy size of paper. And as you can see, the envelope, there's a an overhang all around the edge. So that's what I'm going to use for my cover. Now for my pages inside, if I just show you the sort of format or formula of the pages that I'm going to use. So if you've bought the physical kit and you're wanting to follow on or follow exactly as per this, then I will show you the pages as I've compiled them. So you're going to need something for your cover. So either an envelope or maybe um, a file folder or something like that. Then my pages themselves, I have selected, if I just show you, I just want to make sure that I've got them the right way. So as I'm not showing you with things completely upside down, hold on. Oops, they might be, they might be upside down. Right, okay. So what I've got is a mixture of thickish card. So this is, um, actually 200 gsm card card stock or card it's kind of thicker than paper obviously it's not as thick as you know really thick card so it's flexible but it's got a weight to it so that way when you kind of glue on embellishments and things you know anything a little bit heavy won't be too weighty for the weight of the card if that makes sense so i've got a mixture of that of regular copy paper thickness oops, thickness of pages and then I've also included some you know note paper just from one of those notebooks so again this is similar thickness to the copy paper so I've got a mixture of those three things and if I show you the formula that I'm going to kind of use so I've got one two two sheets of the thick card so these are what would be my embellished pages I'm going to put them onto my lap as I go through. Then I have got a copy paper. As you can see, I mean, it's got a slight tear in. That doesn't bother me. Um, you know, but obviously it may bother, you know, some people. Um, so that's going to go there. I've then got a sheet of the sheet music um, that I'm going to bind into my journal. So I'll pop that there. I've then got that large rectangular doily. So that will go next. Then I have got my lined paper. And as you can see, all of this has been coffee dyed. <clears throat> the only pieces that haven't actually is the sheet music, but the other pages have all been coffee dyed. So I'll put that on the pile. Then I have another sheet of just regular copy paper. So all of these thin pages would be left, I, you know, I personally would leave them unembellished. So they're going to be your plain journaling pages. Then I've got another two thicker pages here. So again, with the thicker kind of card for having embellishment pieces on. I have another sheet of the lined notebook type paper. I've got one of the pages of the letter, which obviously is on that thick kind of paper. So I'm just going to bind that into my journal. I've got the tracing paper sheet so I'm going to bind that into there. 
Then I have another two copy papers. And then finally, I have a thicker card again for the middle. So if we recap, I've got one, two, three, four. I've got five, five sheets of this thicker kind of card. So that's for holding the embellishment type pieces. And then if I just lump the lined paper in, calling that the same as the copy paper, because obviously that's going to just be plain for journaling. I have got one, two, three, four, five, six sheets, six sheets of the copy paper. And then obviously I've also got your tracing paper sheet, the letter sheet, the doily sheet, and the sheet music. Okay, and that's the order that I'm going to have it in, so that I have a mixture of my embellished pages and my copy pages. So, whoops, so then all I'm going to do is fold these in half to make my pages. So I'm going to get my bone folder and then I'm just going to start folding my pages in like that. And then you can obviously squash them with your bone folder. Oops. Like that. So I know this is a bit like now watching paint dry, so I apologize for the really tedious nature of this part. But I mean, obviously, um, I know that I have talked about this before. I really do hate it when um, I'm watching a programme or anything and people are kind of saying, oh, we'll do this together. And then they go off and do something without me. <laughs> because it's often invariably the piece that I really wanted to see. Um, and I don't mean necessarily here on YouTube. I mean, that does sometimes happen. Um, but I mean, it happens everywhere. It happens, you know, on cooking programs and things like that. And I know that, you know, I'm being a bit of a scratch record because I have talked about this before, but you know, they, they do it all the time and they kind of say, oh, then you just, oh, I don't know, cover in oil or something like that. And then it's like flipped to the next part and you don't really ever see, did they paint the oil on? Did they pour the oil over, let's say potatoes, you know? And then I'm always in doubt as to what's the correct method. So, oh, I mean, as you can see, there's a bit of scribble there. So, I mean, if you didn't like that, you can just, just tear the corner off. And that's completely in keeping them with our junk journal style. Um, yeah, so although this is very tedious and boring, I, I don't want anyone to miss out on anything that they maybe would be finding useful or... You know, maybe you wanted to just double check the order of the pages or something. Oops, sorry, picking up other mess from my desk now. Um, or something like that. And that's the type of thing that I just think, film it all. And then if people are bored, they can always skip through to find sections that they're more interested in or anything like that. But obviously it's better, I, I feel, to have it all there and have people skip through than have not enough there and people wishing that you'd incorporated another piece, you know, or another another part. Then I'm going to take my envelope and obviously just fold that exactly the same in half. So you don't have to use the bone folder, um, you know, you can, you don't have to. So we'll just do that. And then all your pages are stacked together like that. And you're going to put them then just inside your envelope. So get your, I, well, I use these, what do you call them? Um, bulldog clips. Again, this is what I like to use. You may have something else that you prefer to use. So if you have another method if you use I don't know pegs or paper clips or anything else then of course use you know use what works for you so I just like the um the bulldog clips 
Okay, so then I'm just going to get my pokey tool. And I mean, it, you know, this is probably pretty boring um, for a lot of people because I've done all this before on other videos. So, you know, it's nothing new. It's nothing different to anything you've ever seen me do before. So if you're not enjoying this, feel free to um, skip ahead because obviously this is just the binding of our our basic outside of our journal. Okay. So all I've done, I've taken my pokey tool and I have just eyeballed three holes. One in the centre and one up either end, um, you know, kind of a couple of inches in, I guess, from the edge of the envelope. So maybe like an inch in or an inch and a half in from the edge of the paper. To save a little bit of time, I've already threaded my needle and I'm now flicking it around the rim. Now, I'm hoping I've got enough here. Again, I don't measure and obviously perhaps I should. What I'm going to do is go through the middle and then I want to come out through the end hole with a bit of luck, go through there, back through there and then up back through the middle one, I think. I mean, if I have enough, I might go back through like that, but I'm not sure whether I'm going to actually have enough. So thread this through the middle. Now, if I keep my strings quite short, then I might just have enough to go through another time. So then I'm going to just go up here. I hate doing things like this on camera. Let's try this one because invariably can't then find my holes which is always very irritating when you're filming there we go I just thread that right the way through and then I go through this one here at the end like that Oops. okay Oops. and then going to go back through uh yeah back through this end one again if I can find the hole there we go like that and I've got enough thread to be able to go back through this one again so just pop it through there like that now you want to pull your threads then quite tight so your journal is not all baggy and then you're just going to go back through the middle one. I don't know whether this matters but I try and go the opposite side to, to this if you see what I mean. So I like pull it, pull it over to the side. I really don't know whether that matters but it's just something that I kind of like to do. Now I really am struggling now to get this through the hole. I mean, I always personally find this type of thing very fiddly. This is not um, not my favourite part of journal making. I'm not a very um, delicate person. <laughs> I struggle with anything a little bit precise. So, you know, for me, this is a little bit tricky and in fact proving to be near on impossible in fact today because I'm obviously here doing this video so excuse me while I fiddle around I mean obviously eventually I will now find the hole and get it right the way through but oh come on Right, so again, this is a how not to do. How not to craft again. <laughs> I seem to have so many of those. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, suddenly it went through, pricked my finger and then came back out. So hold on. So it's definitely there somewhere because <laughs> it did just suddenly poke through. Oh, come on. Okay, 
Oh, no, I haven't gone through the exact same hole. I, in fact, punched a new one. Oh. Oh, look. No, that might still be my new hole. Well, never mind. Okay, never mind. Right, so then just pull your strings tight. And then you can obviously tie them off. Like that. Okay. Oops. And that's literally all there is to that. So we can come back, obviously, and then get cracking with actually compiling the journal. So I hope you found that helpful. And um, I do apologise for the whole time time it took to find that other hole. But we got there eventually. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.